Latch Prime and Stop is a automation feature within Pro Tools that can help you do some really fast automation, especially if you don't have a dedicated control surface. Now it works obviously in the latch mode. You have to enable it. It's under the setup, preferences, under the mixing tab, under the subsection of automation, there's an option called allow latch prime and stop. Now before I enable it, I'm going to cancel out of here and show you something. And now imagine this. I have this track here with some existing automation. Now I want to write some new automation in over here but I want to start from negative infinity this is volume by the way I want to start from negative infinity and slowly fade in the track now without latch prime and stop how you would do this would be to hit play bring the volume down and then when the playhead reaches the beginning of this region you slowly bring up the volume so let's try that out Now, as you can see, this may not be the ideal way of doing this, especially if you don't have a control surface. Um, as you can see, I'm slightly off over here. So if I actually had some audio here, which I did not want to cut off, will now be cut off. So this is not very useful. So let's enable latch prime and stop. And I'm going to undo this automation. Um, now with latch, latch prime and stop enabled, all I have to do is go to the position that I want to enable my automation from and set the fader to the position that I wanted to start from. Now you notice the latch button has this red background around it. This usually happens when you are in the process of recording automation. So even though we are stopped right now, the playhead is stopped, but Pro Tools has primed the fader to start at negative infinity. Now as soon as I hit play, the automation is going to start recording at negative infinity at the playhead. As you can see, this is a lot more accurate. I have automation exactly where I want it to be. So I could even do this for a selection so let's say I select this region or this area and I decide that I don't want it to be completely off I want to hear that 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 little section over there so I'm just gonna click on the volume fader you can see the latch button has a red background I'm gonna bring the fader up to the level I want let's say around minus one now as soon as I hit play that automation gets recorded over. Now let's take this a step further. Um, I'm going to introduce a plugin, let's say a AR Lo-Fi plugin. I'm going to automation enable all these parameters by holding down Control, Option, Command, and clicking on the automation button. You can see they're all now automation enabled. Now let's say I have this little section over here. I want to have a specific setting for sample rate, specific setting for bit depth, and maybe bring down the mix so we can hear a little bit of the dry sound. Enable anti-aliasing. Now I want these particular settings just for this area. So latch prime and stop is enabled. So all I have to do is hit the space bar. And now we have recorded these settings just to that particular area. We can verify that by clicking somewhere behind. And you can see the settings changed. Now those settings weren't very obvious so let me select another area and this time I'll bring down the sample rate a lot further and the bit depth down to 5.1 bits. Bring down the mix. Maybe enable the LFO. Increase the depth of the LFO bring down the rate or bring up the rate so you can hear it a lot faster uh, maybe I can leave that on a triangle wave and maybe leave the anti-aliasing option off this time so again just hit the spacebar 
and we have now recorded all those settings just for that particular location. So let's audition that. So as you can see, Latch, Prime and Stop can be really useful to set up automation for a whole bunch of parameters and especially when you want to do it for specific sections of a track.